you guys have been feeling washed up lately or just looking to get better at the game in general, then you guys have come to the right place. I'm going to be showing you guys my warm-up routine and what I do every single day to keep up with all the insane sweats of the game. I've been playing this game at a high level for the last five, five years. I never really quit. I quit once, came back, and basically did the same exact warm-up routine that I've always done. And it's just, it's, it's proven to be good. If you do this every single day, you'll learn all the basics to the game, exactly what you need to be good at this game. So first off, we're already in the first map that I'm going to be showing you guys because I come in here to free build every single time. So let me just go back to the hub and show you guys. This is what the map's going to look like when you load in. This is the Raider mechanic training map. The code is at the top of the screen. I will have the code in the description as well if you guys do want to see it there. But I go over to the free build section to start off and go into the 0.8 because this warms up my crosshair placement and does exactly what I need it to do for warming up my fingers and everything like that. It's really good. I'm not going to crank too much in here because, you know, I don't want to bore you guys with that. Right after that, I do go to the 1.2, which is a little bit faster, kind of speeds up uh, every, I mean, it just speeds up everything in general, but it helps your crosshair placement a ton, trying to keep it nice and, you know, small to where you're not over flicking. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to get used to, but once you do, it helps a ton. I'm telling you, you'll be full piecing kids like never before, and you'll have the best aim ever because your crosshair placement. Your crosshair placement affects your aim a ton, guys. Like, literally so much. But this map offers so much edit training, which I don't use this. Uh, they offer a whole bunch of aim training, which I am going to show you guys on the map I actually aim train on. I don't really use any of these ever. It's just not... They're not for me. Uh, they have tunnels, which I use sometimes. But what I find even better is the tunnels with targets. It's the same thing as tunnels, but it gives you something to shoot. Which is 20 times more realistic. So let's go try it out. So as you see, it's just like a normal tunnel. If you guys have ever played a Peace Patrol tunnel ever, I'm just going to go through and just make sure you're hitting all your edits, which is really important. Oh, and I missed my jump. It's okay. Every, everyone messes up. You know, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. You guys might have seen this map recently in a uh, keyword and mouse video. If you guys are kept up with the channel that I am been learning keyword and mouse and I've been using this map a lot, actually. But you go through and you play every single tunnel. You can even go back and replay tunnels if you want. Like, I can come back to the same one we just played. And you can even go into tunnels, emo, and change your speeds. Like, you know how I showed you you could uh, crank in point eight. Now you can do the tunnel in point eight and just practice your cross replacement even in this. Which is super, super helpful. This is exactly what you need if you're coming back to the game or even brand new to the game to learn everything even even if i switch binds or i'm learning new binds i come and do the same routine because it just helps so much when you're constantly doing the same thing over and over you're just building that muscle memory in your head and that's exactly what you need but after i go through all the tunnels every single one i'm not going to go through all of them right now that'd be a lot but after all that i go and jump into my aim training and i'm not gonna lie this is the number one thing i do every day because having good aim is everything like if i can build and do all this stuff What's the point if I can't aim? There's no point at all. And I can tell you guys, I can guarantee you guys, this has been working because I've been hitting crazy clips recently. I mean, just check some of these out. Oh my God. Brando, it's not. Oh my, oh my God. 60 on no ones. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my God. 97 on slay. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god, I'm so Oh my god, you're so ass. Oh my- so After all that, I jump into this Martaz box fight map, which again, the code is on the screen, but I'll have it in the description. And I come in here to aim train now. It's literally just uh, you and a bunch of other players spawn into a thing. And you can just piece around, go for pumps on people. Here, let's see if we can find a couple people here. Oh. Box. You get you get the point though. It spawns you in and you're just fighting a whole bunch of other people. This helps my aim so much, helps my tracking. And not even that, because you're just sitting here like kind of free building around in the map, it'll get you used to just like shooting people out of an edit, which is very important in this game. 200, 200, 200. Like it's just really, really important to practice your aim is one of the most important like things in the game overall like if you can't hit a shot especially coming out of an edit it's completely pointless and that's what i was saying cross replacement in this is literally everything if you don't have good cross replacement like if i don't have good cross replacement i'm going to come out of an edit and i'm going to be looking up here and he's in the middle so 
so it forces me to flick and it, if you're fighting a good player they're gonna punish you for that every single time So like on this edit, bam. Top tier crosshair placement. There's a kid right here. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd that guy go? But you can even change your weapons, go from different attachments. They have all the new and updated weapons in the game now, so that's really nice. We're absolutely, uh, we're absolutely cornered. There's nothing we can do there. But like, when you spawn on this map, some rooms have this button. You go to the weapon room and you can literally change everything. And there's a kid in here changing his stuff right now. But you can go, you can change to assault rifles. You know, you could use the regular pump if you want to, the Havoc. I'm using all the new stuff that's in the game already. And then on top of that, you guys can change your attachments on them. Like I could put fast mag, laser sight, you know, laser sight. You know, what, whatever you want to end up using that can like, you think you're having a problem aiming with, just come in, grab it, and then just go straight back into the map. Heck, what the heck's going on here? Straight back into the map. See, like, stuff like that is just really important to make sure you're using. I don't normally come in here and practice with the attachments on. But if you want to get better with the attachments on, you can always do that. But you don't have to. I thought I had my shotgun out. I did not. It's gonna be on me for sure, there, guys. Now this isn't even the last part of the world. This is this. I probably spent around 15, 20 minutes in here normally. I'm not gonna do that in the video, obviously. But let's go into the next part of the warm up where I think it's the most fun part of the warm up. It's kind of what I look forward to every time. And some of you guys might already know the map too. It's very popular. So let's just jump right on over into that map. The last map, and honestly, one of my favorites is Forever Zone Wars. You guys have probably seen this map before. It's getting really popular. Again, like I said, the code is on the screen. If you guys do want to check it out, it will be in the description as well. But every time you spawn into this zone with random loot, and you just have to fight. If you get to a 10 kill streak, the round ends, and you drop a nuke. So there's a whole bunch of different kill streaks in this, which just makes it super, super fun to be honest. But it's really good for practice as well because it has all the current loot pool in it. And people just landing on your head constantly so it gives you a lot of fighting practice really fast which is really important when you're trying to learn new things if not just come back to the game in general full box give me a grapple let's see if we can drop a quick nuke real quick for you guys oh. Oh my god, who's that? Let me heal, let me heal. But yeah, this map is how I end my warm-up every time. It's just super fun to play. It gets me like really ready to play the game, to be completely honest. So now I just got a kill streak, which now I have a gold pump. Which is obviously amazing. Because it's a gold pump, so it hits people about 190. Now this map gets updated frequently, so if there is any new items in the game that ever get added, this map will get updated with them as long as it's in creative. Now I have a 5 kill streak, so I got a heal item, which is this uh, Slurp Juice. Honestly, I'm just going to pop it because we're really weak. And there's no other heals back here for us, so we're just going to go in. We found an AFK player. Seven kill streaks, and now we got a movement item, so I got a shockwave hammer now, which is really fun. Let me make sure I'm reloaded here. Oh. Just get ahead of zone here. Getting kind of congested. This also helps with ranked a ton because if you're playing this map, a lot of the times you're playing moving zones in ranked. So being able to play moving zones in this as well is really nice. Bro, we're so close to a nuke and that guy just jumps in and the other guy gets away. No, bro. Maybe it's not going to be real quick then. 
We were so close. If you don't, if no one ends up dropping a nuke, the round does end and it will just restart once you get towards the end of the map. But it does take a little bit. So we're probably not going to go through the entire thing. That's why I was trying to drop a nuke real fast. This kid's jumping at me in the back of zone. No clue why. Now we're just dead. There's a million people that just land on height, so you sometimes got to be careful. But this is really chaotic and it's just really good for those actual in-game experiences because you never know what's going to happen when you're in a game. Especially when you're in an end game. So this map helps a ton for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we're dead. I actually hate when I drop down and I have an auto shotgun, but it is the loot pool. So, you know, in the game, you're not going to always get a good gun, but at least there is kill streaks. Whoa. Oh, I don't even know what I just did there. But this map is, I don't know. Ever since it came out, it's been one of my main like go-tos. Obviously, this wasn't out forever. So before this wasn't in my warm-up routine. But now it's like a big part of it. It's one of the like the only things uh, I'll do. Some days I'll only get on and play this map. It just warms my fingers up and everything. Because this helps with your aim and free building and honestly everything. Like look at that full box. 200. Now we're getting jumped again. I don't know what's going on. My pump's not shooting. <laughs> but this, this is a very chaotic map. But it's, but it's very fun. So if you guys should just give this entire warm up routine a try. I promise you guys you'll get better. You guys saw those clips from earlier. We are absolutely insane at the game recently. So just make sure you're doing that. Use all these maps to make sure you, you guys can be the best possible player you can be, to be honest. And then just just win. You'll, you'll just start winning more games off this. All your friends are going to think you're the best player in the game. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I would not lie. Look at my aim. Look at my aim right there. Did you see all those headshots? Like, come on, bro. I would not lie. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, please make sure to like, like comment, and subscribe if you're new. All right. I love you guys. and I will see you in the next one. All right.